What's up everyone, this is Zod Talk is Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you 5 awesome shortcuts that you can use in iOS 12. So, let's get started. So by far, these are some of the coolest shortcuts I've ever seen during my time period using the Shortcuts app. Some of them were found on Reddit. So I will be linking them down below in the description along with the user so that you can go and check them out because they did take time and effort to create these shortcuts. So it's only fair if I give them credit. So the first shortcut is actually genius. So if you're ever in a situation, for example, if you're getting pulled over by a cop or if you're in an awkward situation and you feel like your life is in danger, this is the perfect shortcut for you. It'll automatically send your current location in a text message to a relative or a family member that you preset and you'll be able to choose that when you download the shortcut. It'll immediately start taking a video using the front camera or the rear camera depending on which one you want. Now this is assuming that your phone is on in like an iPhone stand in your car and it'll upload that photo or video to your photo library to Google Drive, Dropbox, and whichever ones you want to set after that. It'll turn on Do Not Disturb, and on top of that, it will also send a custom message to whoever you want. So this is perfect specifically for getting pulled over by the police, or if you're in a situation where you feel your life is in danger. So honestly, this is going to be on my shortcuts panel, just because of how convenient this can be. This next shortcut is not as complicated as the last one, but it's pretty cool. So if you tap on it, it gives you three options to search an image, through Google, or you can search by using text, or you can search by using your voice. So I'm going to reverse search by using an image. So if you tap on a image in your photo library, it'll actually do a reverse search. So typically you would use an app like reverse E. It'll search the internet by using that image in case you want to find the original site it's from. You can also type text if you want to Google something really fast, which is pretty cool, or you could use Siri. This next shortcut lets you spam a text message. Now the text message that this one has enabled is a link that will send unlimited dad jokes. Now you can change whatever you want, but you can send however many texts that you prefer. So if you want to send 10,000 text messages, you can go ahead and do that, but if you want to send five, that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to tap on OK once I have the set number of text messages that I want to send, and it'll automatically spam the amount of messages that I choose. Now what's cool is if you go into the edit button, you can see how this all works, and it's actually choosing jokes from a link, and it's going to be dad jokes. So honestly, these are the type of jokes that everyone hates, so it's perfect that you would spam this, but you can choose other jokes as well. Or you can just have a simple message if you just want to spam a bunch of emojis. This next shortcut is very useful while listening to music. So let's just say you're shuffling throughout your entire music library, which I actually do quite often, and you find a song that you like and you want to listen to the full album that the song is contained in. Well, what you want to do is just tap on this shortcut and it will automatically start playing the next up songs from the album of the current song you're listening to, which can be very convenient and it's easy to have a shortcut for that rather than just going into the music app tapping on the album, and then shuffling through there. So, very convenient. Let's move on to the next shortcut. So last but certainly not least is a simple shortcut that will let you calculate the tip. So if you're ever at dinner or something and you don't know what the tip is, just type in the total amount of the bill. Let's just say it was $58. Just tap on OK and then choose the percentage tip you want to give. You can preset these inside of the shortcut and change the numbers around if you so choose and then it'll give you the amount that your tip is and then the total amount with the tip. So honestly, a great shortcut. And that's going to be about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, peace.